if you're new here, you know what I'm going to say. I'm not going to repeat it because I'm sure y'all are tired of hearing that shit. <laughs> so what's going on, loves? What's going on? Okay, we're going to get some collective energy out here, okay? Um, this is going to be for all signs, okay? So there's not a specific sign. And thank you so much for all your support and love. I really greatly appreciate it. If you are not familiar yet, I have the Taurus video up. Just put it out today. So go check it out if you'd like, okay? All right, Spirit. I ask you to please bless my dear collective at this time, Spirit. Please give them the strength, the wisdom. Please bless their health and their wealth. Please continue to remove any blockages that stand in their way. Amen. Okay, so let's see what we got going on for the collective. What messages, Spirit, do we have here? Going for the collective, Spirit. What messages do you have here for the collective? What messages do you have here? Okay, we got more than friends. Okay, more than friends. What other messages, Spirit? Ooh. Two more, Spirit, please. Two more. What messages do we have here for the collective? Okay, I got three, so I'll just go with those. Okay. So, yeah, being without you hurts me. Talker. And then we have, you make me happy. So, my dear collective, you have somebody that is really missing you. Somebody that wants to be more than friends, okay? Somebody likes to talk a good game, though. Being without you, this person is hurting, okay, because you make them happy. It's like somebody didn't see this coming. Somebody didn't see this coming. This is like something that kind of is new for this person. Because they're not used to being a talker and not being able to keep, not be able to switch people's mindset. Okay? To not like, to be able to control what people do or feel or think. It feels like somebody pulled their energy back here. Spirit, what do we have for more than friends? What's going on here, Spirit? For more than friends. Okay, we have five of pentacles in the reverse. Someone wants to come out of the cold. This is what it looks like in the upright. Okay, but the Five of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody's not doing very well with money as well. They want to come out that cold, that cold with you, that friend zone. Somebody wants to be more than your friend, okay? Somebody's ready to be more than friends. They don't, they, they tired of doing it, okay? They tired of doing it. I feel like you got somebody new, okay? Oh, not somebody new, but you have a friend that's checking you out, okay? And then you got somebody from your past that's trying to dip in as well. Spirit, what's being without you hurts me? Being without you hurts me. What is that, Spirit? Being without you hurts me is the Nine of Cups. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. You see those people reaching for the cup so quickly? You got everybody trying to run at you at one time. Everybody trying to run at you for something, okay? Being without you hurts this person. There's somebody from your past now that's seeing you as wish fulfillment. I think they see you being friends with someone else. Or there's someone from your past that you're dealing with, that you're still kind of friends with, and they want to be more than friends again. You and this person have been broke up for quite some time. Being without you hurt this person, and they have not spoken that one lick of information about it. You're just now finding it out here, if that's, if that's even possible. Talker. What's this talker spirit? Somebody talk a good game here. They do a lot of talking. A lot of talking. Queen of Cups. Somebody manipulative. Somebody that likes to talk and then feel like they're victim afterwards, okay? When they were really talking a lot of shit and they didn't come through. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is nurturing and loving, but I don't know why. I feel these are in the upright right now. These are new cards. So, um, it's a new deck. You make me happy. Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's somebody from your past. Ten of Swords here. Okay. Ten of Swords. Someone's sad without you. Somebody's sad without you. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the world. Yeah, because you ended something here. You ended a cycle. A cycle's been ended, okay, been closed out. 
and somebody feels shunned, okay? Spirit, what other information do we have here for my collective? What else do we have, Spirit? What does the collective need to know, Spirit, right now, here and now? Yeah, I'm telling, I'm speaking the truth. You got somebody blocked. Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. You're being protected again. You're being protected from somebody. Okay? You're being protected from somebody more than friends. Spirit don't want this to happen. I think it's somebody that you were dealing with before. That's what I'm getting here. You know the truth. You're clear about this person. You know why. And they want to be more than friends. But you cool on them. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Very unstable. Very unstable. Yeah. Very unstable. Somebody that's being without you hurts me. Well, somebody's not stable even financially together. Mentally, I feel it's mental. Yes. The page of swords in the reverse. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's trying to gather information, but they don't have the clear information that they're looking for. Yeah, a star at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy. You've healed. A lot of you have done some healing here, and someone's, like, expecting you to just bring them out of the cold. Somebody that you haven't dealt with in a while. Okay, you may not know this, but they do. Talker. What's this talker spirit? Get going on. What's going on here? Yeah, the queen of swords. You have, you have boundaries up against somebody that... That's the thing. Things don't have to be in the reverse, you guys, to be, you know, not going right, okay? There's readers that read every card up in the upright, and there's not all the ways things good or bad. But I feel from this Queen of Cups right here that this is a manipulator. Somebody that cries, and they put on this show like they're hurt and sad when they're really not. I just, I feel like somebody like, you know, puts up a front. Puts up a front more than anything, okay? And this Queen of Swords here is you, putting up boundaries. Like, you're not dealing with this anymore. Yeah, no longer in love with this person. Gemini at the bottom of the deck. Gemini here at the bottom of the deck. No longer in love with this person. You done went inside and you done, so you done seek. You seeked what you were looking for. Seek and find. You found what you were looking for. You know exactly what this person's about. You know what they're about. You're wise to it. You're hip to it. I just see somebody sitting here crying and then t talking and, oh, this and that happened to me. And, you know, and it's like a sob story. And it's like, okay, um, how can I help in a different way to where you're not going to sit here and, and talk my ear off with bullshit? That's what I feel. Spirit, what else is here, Spirit, after these clear boundaries that my dear collective is putting up? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. And you're very, 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 very successful and confident. You're confident in this in these boundaries that you're setting up against this person. You don't have time for the fuck shit. You don't want to deal with it. Somebody here's pretending like you have to. I feel arrogance. If somebody's hurt, if somebody's here hurting. They feel betrayed. Yeah, they're waiting. They're waiting and stuck. Piscean energy, fire energy. Okay, somebody's waiting on you. They're stuck waiting on you. Okay, they feel like they're betrayed, the Ten of Swords. I also feel this person has betrayed you, my dear collective. That's what made you cut, walk away, but now this person's waiting for you to come back. Somebody's plan here backfired. Somebody was trying to trying to not give closure, but you got clarity, and now you're blocked off from this person, and they're, they're upset about this. They felt they're the only ones that could give you clarity. They pretended as if you didn't have nobody else around you. You got your spirit guides. Okay, that's for sure. Being without you hurts me. Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody's trying to get information that they're not getting. They're not getting the correct information. So they're spying, they're inspecting, they're doing some hard. Uh... Spirit, what's the Seven of Wands? Yeah, look, you listen to your intuition, you block somebody off. You have your own clarity. You don't need anybody to tell you anything. You just know this, and you're silent with this information too. You're not telling nobody anything. They don't need to know. They don't need to know. All they all they need to know is that they know they done fucked up, okay? Somebody done made some wrong moves here. All right, let's get the hidden truth here. Let's see what's going on, Spirit, for my dear collective. What's the hidden truth with this person? 
Yeah, someone's tired of being in the friend zone. They assume that you're going to be... Some of you, you're not even talking to this person. They're assuming you're going to put them as a friend, but they want to be more than friends. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah, see? This person did something shady to you first, and now they feel betrayed because you're moving on. Mm -hmm. Two came out. I'm becoming a better person. Somebody here, fit this. Somebody here wants you to know that they're changing their ways. We both know I'm not the one for you. Okay? That talker energy. They're not going to tell you this, y'all. Remember, this is the hidden truth oracle. This is not something this person's going to sit here and up and just, you know, up and tell you. Look, I'm not the one for you, okay? I'm sorry. No, they ain't going to do none of that. They ain't going to do none of that. That's not what they're, that's not what they're about. It was my fault, but I blamed you. See that? That's what this Ten of Cups and uh, this Ten of Swords is. You make me happy, but the Ten of Swords is here. It says, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Somebody knows damn well what they did, but they're waiting. They're stuck waiting on you. They're stuck waiting on you. We will be together again is at the bottom of the deck. If God says no, then that's not going to happen. That person can keep that hidden truth all they want. This person, I don't know, they're a trickster. It feels like somebody's like, sitting here knowing that they've done some wrongdoing, okay? And they, know, they know they've done some wrongdoing, and now they're trying to play like, it's like a victim mentality here. Like, it's, you know, you, you, know, you portrayed me moving on and doing better for yourself. And it just feels like this is a continuance of the Taurus reading. It just feels like it's a continuance of the Taurus reading. But, again, it may just not be. The Taurus reading may have not have been for a lot of people, but this one will be, you know? All depends on how it pans out, guys. Everyone has a unique story. Everyone's going through different things, okay? Please always remember that. When you're looking at these readings, keep that in mind. Let that be the first thing that comes to your mind when you see a reading pop up. Know that there's things in there that, that just might that just might resonate with you. But remember that when something sounds kind of off, it might be for someone else. Leave that alone and take what belongs to you. Take what you think you might be going through. Because these are very general, okay? They're general readings. General readings, my loves. Don't ever forget that, okay? So you don't get confused. It ain't worth you getting confused over no bullshit, no. A lot of people are going through different things. And then... I'm just going to split this deck in half and I'll use the first half and go to the second. And then they get confused and they add a story. They add stuff into their story and then they end up confused and they don't know why. Then they want to get upset because tarot readers and, you know, or me as a tarot reader, I can't speak for other readers. We just talk about love. Well, what else? You know, there is, well, there is, there is career and things like that. There are those things, but I prefer to focus on love. A lot of people get lost in that area. I was for a very long time. So don't 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 come at me. Don't come at me about what you think should be relevant on my channel or whatnot. I'll do as I please. If you don't like it, there are so many other readers out there that do career, life coaching, all kinds of things. Okay? I say what I want, what I want, feel what I feel, okay? That's just me. And I love you all so much that support me and got my back. Thank you so much. My daughter's calling me. What's the tea, spirit? What's the tea? rejected yeah see you rejected someone here you let someone go addiction somebody's addicted to pills drinking self-medicating okay that's what i'm getting here self-medicating spirit what else we got here for the tea somebody's self-medicating because they miss you they still self-medicating and rebounding and stuff's going to get them somewhere boss babe always rising that's you my dear collective that's you. You're leveling up. And this person's not. They're not. They're sitting there trying to find out what good game they can talk up now so that way they can get your attention. Don't let this person fool you. Don't let them fool you. You've been there and done it. Okay, you know. You know this person. Spirit, what else? Is, what's the team spirit for this situation? What's going on here? 
Yeah, complainer. Somebody that complains a whole lot, but they don't do nothing about it. They don't do nothing about what they're going through. They do nothing. Okay? Here, one more. Trying too hard. Someone's trying too hard to be a part of your life, and they're not really meant to be in it. Their season's over, but they don't want to see that. They don't want to claim that, okay? Their season is over, my loves. All right, they can complain all they want. At the bottom of the deck, we have spread and gossip. I told you, somebody's trying to get information that they don't have. This uh, page of swords in reverse. Someone likes to run around lying, talking shit. They don't even know what the hell's going on in your life. But they want to know. They want to know. That's why they stay on the phone and stuff talking and shit. When they should be getting their own stuff together. But spreading gossip is all they know how to do. That's fine and Danny. Let them spread their gossip. They'll be fine. Let them have their, let them, let them think whatever they want to. Because you know what? By the end of the day, my dear collective, you can't make anybody think what you want them to think. They're going to have their thoughts anyway. What's this? Oop, fell to the ground. Okay, I'm not going to fish for that. That ran what needs to think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, somebody's still attracted to you, but they feel rejected. So it's making it's making somebody like long for you even more here. You know, rejection is God's protection, but some people actually take that as a challenge. They want to chase after it even more. Okay. So I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but if I were you in the situation collective and somebody was doing this, I would basically ignore them. This is not worth your time. This is like a game, okay? You're not saying anything. You don't have to say anything, but the, the, the thing about this is, if someone's wanting to get a reaction out of you, some way, somehow, they're complaining their addictions, okay? Seeing you boss up is making them be addicted to doing things they shouldn't be doing. No more spirit. Get one more connected you're connected with source you're connected with the universe you know what this person's doing you know you don't need anybody to tell you obsessive at the bottom of the deck obsessive obsessive and drama starter look at that look at that this person just spreads gossip they just run around talking shit and they want to be more than friends why do i want to be friends with somebody that just likes to sit around and start shit I can start my own damn arguments and shit with myself. I can pick on myself. Why would I need you to help me do that? Somebody here don't think. They don't think. They don't use their brain. Whatever, whatever they, whatever they doing, they ain't being, they ain't using their brain properly. Okay, let's get out some uh, Sufi wisdom. Sufi wisdom. Okay, I love this deck, you guys. Every part of me. <sighs> All right, let's see. Yeah, somebody, they miss being around you, okay? Being without you makes them, it hurts them. And you make this person happy, but they're trying too hard. They're trying too hard to come in and talk a good game again. But you're connected with the spirit guides, universe. You're connected. You know what this person's bringing. You already know. You don't need to figure it out. And that's what's killing this person. That's what's hurting them the most is that you have them figured out. Union of love. Embrace the... Beloved within your heart. Union of love. Embrace the beloved within your heart. Exactly. Love yourself. That's a beautiful union of love. The union of self, okay? The union of you loving yourself. You coming to yourself and saying, look, I love you. I love the way your body looks. I love the way your smile is. Your eyes are so damn beautiful. Loving yourself. Speaking that into existence. Speaking that into the mirror every morning. Wake up. I know today's Monday, but guess what? You look so damn beautiful. Just say that. Even if it's on a, not today's not Monday. Today is actually Thursday. But even if it's just like a regular Monday or something, you feel exhausted. Say something that's going to perk you up a bit. It does bring up your vibration. Maybe not by you just running off the rooftops, but like, you know, it, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It makes you feel better. It makes you feel like, you know what? You're right. You got this. No need to fear. You got this. Okay? Collective. You got this. More than you know. People gonna try to deny and say you don't. You do. You know the truth. Okay? And you know how to block out anything that's unnecessary. And that's where the kicker is. They feel rejected because of you taking care of self. Oh, well. Fine wine. Longing is the portal to wholeness. Longing is the portal to wholeness. 
Look at that. Fine wine. Oh, beautiful. It says longing is the portal to wholeness. You're longing to be self. You're longing to be a, a different person. You're longing for that freshness, that newness. And it's here. You get to decide. Okay? I don't know why it feels like she has headphones on. I think music is also helping a lot of you get through a lot of dark times. Let it continue to push you through. If it helps, do it. Meditate. Imagine yourself listening to that song that's talking about the six figures and things. Imagine yourself doing it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay? Do it. You have every right to. Let's get an absolute affirmation and then we're going to be done, my loves. Yep. Absolute affirmations. I love this deck. So beautiful. So beautifully done. Okay, Spirit, what do we have here for my dear collective spirit? What do we have here for the collective? Okay, we'll take that one. Thank you, Spirit, so much. Thank you for the beautiful messages, Spirit. We are always grateful for them. We know you take the time out to love us. We're appreciating. I embrace the unknown. You guys, this comes out every time during my collectives. If you've been watching my readings, it comes out. You guys are doing something and it's good. It's making you move forward. You're embracing the unknown. Absolutely gorgeous. This is gorgeous energy. At first, it got on my nerves. It kept coming out, but it's coming out for a reason. So let's see. Life can feel like a roller coaster of unexpected curves and sudden drops, but this is the this is the nature of the ride. The magic happens in the unknown. So throw your hands into the air and surrender to it. You might not understand why you are picking up speed or slowing each turn, but know everything you experience is preparation for the next phase. Absolutely beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. I truly do. Okay, that's what I have for you, my dear collective. I love you guys so dearly. Two, 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 when I said that. I love you guys so dearly. I hope that you have a beautiful, fantastic Thursday, okay? Take care of yourselves and each other. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I truly do. I can't say it enough. I don't have to know you to love you, okay? But I can feel your energy and you're doing just fine. Keep focusing. Keep doing you. Don't allow chatter boxes in your ears or pillow talk. You're doing very well for yourself. Continue to be with people or around people that are real, that want to match you. Not people that just want you to do for them and you do nothing and they do nothing in return. No, you're too smart for that. I love you guys, okay? And I hope you have a beautiful afternoon, evening, morning, whichever it is in the world to you. Pray for Ukraine. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.